episode of After Hours. Of course, I'm Dave Palumbo in studio with me, Mr. G, and I'm joined by our core group of uh, John Romano and uh, Greg Valentino. And uh, John Bravo is, uh, he had some other cockamamie excuse today why he couldn't make it, but I, I, I don't remember what it is. But I think his, his hair wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't blow dry. He's right doing so. an Elvis impersonation somewhere. <laughs> It's all right. The core group will take right. care of everything. He said he'll be back next week. And, of right. course, Jimmy DeBolt, we're waiting four. for him to call in because he has to tell us about his trip to California. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of details that he probably left out. But knowing him, he's probably on some kind of a, a truck on a dirt road someplace broken down, you know, with uh, <laughs> with only one he's wheel left in the truck, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Greg is right. All he's all depressed. I can't depressed. take it no more. Yeah. i got to get the fuck out. Dave, I'm coming down to you. Yeah. I'm moving down there. I made the decision. He was I'm coming so down happy in California. So oh, happy. Yeah. I was out there in California at the beach, and the sun was out, and it was beautiful. And, it, and, it, and I could go back to this motherfucker with the yeah. fucking truck and the yeah. fucking tires and fucking work. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah but but, <laughs> but we, have, we have long since established that he thrives yeah. on that angst. Yes, I think he needs because it. Because he needs it. He needs it. So you... you he ain't moving. He's you know what it is, going. John? I think you're right. It's it's you know how like some people if they if they they retire and then they have like nothing to really inspire them anymore, and so they kind right. of just grow old and die, like you know because no, they just get angrier and angrier. And yeah, they, 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 they don't leave John. the house. They sit on the front porch. Just, right. just so they, know, get, they yell at the paper right. boy. No, right. I agree with John. He's like your fat Aunt Rita. You know what I mean? A fucking old <laughs> fat Italian. Your fat Italian aunt. She bitches about everything. Yes. You know what I mean, Marie? I put the fucking rig off. The way it went. Yeah. Fucking rig. And she lived to a hundred. Yeah. That aunt, right? Yeah, she'll live to be. But you know what? If she doesn't have something to bitch about, she's not really happy. No, she's never happy until she's miserable. No. You understand? No. Right. My, only happy when she's miserable. My Italian grandparents argued at, all the time with each other. They were always about arguing. Everything. And, and and as soon as my grandmother died, which and my grandfather was older, but as soon as she died, my grandfather lost the will to live because. There was no, there was no interaction. He had nothing to right. like, right. you know, to, to to get him going, so to speak. You know, that's right. life. He, he's yeah. zest of life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what nobody makes to life. spar with, nobody to fucking, no. you know, bitch. You know what I mean? That's no. the way they are. That's why the people who hate us, we keep them alive. Did you <laughs> see? Did you see our friend Ronnie Starantino? He was he's been touring t in Sicily with uh, D Schneider. You know, D is his good friend. Who's that? My friend Ron, Ronnie Starantino, he's a, he was a bodybuilder back in the day. He's from my hometown. Oh, yeah, he was, he was you know, a Ronnie? really good-looking Italian yeah, yeah, kid. Yeah, he and, like, yeah, And he's got, like, really good friends with yeah. D, D. Snyder. And so they, they go to Italy, I think, every year. So they've been touring Sicily, and he's been putting pictures up from all the different places he's gone. He, he went to this little mountain town where the Starantinos, his family is from. I told him, I said, my family's from Paterno. I said, see if you – and he even – he sent me a, a picture from Pat, Paterno. And I'm like, you know what? Of all the places that I've I've visited over my bodybuilding career, I mean, I've been to like all over the world, China and, and Australia and all the European countries. I've only been to Italy once and it was, um, or maybe tw twice, but it was always to the northern part of, uh, of Italy or central Italy. I never was to Sicily, which is where my family's from. And it's that's like one, because I always say I don't really have any place I really want to go. That's probably one place I'd like to visit. John, have you ever been there? No, I'm exactly like you. I'm half Sicilian and I, I'm dying to go. My mother tells me all about it. You know, how it's tropical. They grow oranges. It's yeah, he was taking beautiful. pictures. The beaches are beautiful. It's like a, she said it's like a Caribbean island when yeah. you go to the beach, you know. You know what the best is? <laughs> Honestly, if you want to go to Italy and really see something, like, go to Sardinia where fucking Colombo was from. That's supposed to be the most tropical, beautiful oh, really? place. Well, it's yeah, right, right the girls there are unbelievable. So. It's right next to Sicily. Yeah. So, yeah, you get the right, same thing. Right. Right. He, he was so, saying, yeah, I mean, I would, you're right, John. There was like oranges and, and, and uh, cherry uh, trees and all kinds of tropical stuff there. I, I didn't realize it was that warm there in Sicily. And the, and the food there is very, is so much lighter and cleaner yes. than, you know, northern, northern oh, yeah. Like it's all fish and seafood. My and, friend's family you know. owns a fucking uh, olive farm. And you take the olives, they're like giant olives. You bite in them, they're like, the oil squirts in your mouth, oh, but really? it's like delicious. Yeah. Yeah, he owns an olive farm. They make, they make all the real olive oil. It's like That's sick. 
I think that's where I'm going to retire. Oh, jug. I got to start learning huh? Italian. Why well, South Florida? John, like... you, you you speak Italian, right? Well, I used to. Oh. I speak Spanish. So oh. since the, the 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 two languages are so similar that. And once my grandmother died, I stopped speaking Italian right. and I learned Spanish and I had no one to speak Italian to. And <laughs> Spanish took over. I took a whole and I took a whole Spanish test one time in Italian in high school. Oh, really? But, That's funny. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> but, uh, but when I now, turn no, 90, I, when I turn 90, you'll probably be close to a, you'll be 100, actually, probably, or at least close to We'll we'll yep. move we'll finish out our final years, John, in, in uh, Sicily. We right? should we should we should be doing like the twilight of the show <laughs> should be in Sicily, right? By we, then you will all be fucking like uh, senile <laughs> shit. What? <laughs> Who's that guy right there? That's Dave. Dave. Dave who? Blackman will be like Meyer Lansky. He'll try, he'll try to go back to Israel, but they'll reject him. You know. Right. Oh, Jimmy will still be saying the same shit. Can you guys hear me? What? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, he'll still be in New York driving Whoa. a truck at 100. Yeah. Right. He'll still be driving he'll be, a truck at 100. Yeah, he'll be like one of them old the same truck too. pages. He'll be one of them old Alzheimer pages that like troll a fart and he's like, wait, you look behind him. What the fuck was that? You don't even, they don't even know they fart. You know what I'm saying? Right? You know what I'm talking about? Like my friend's, my friend's grandfather, he would throw a fart and he'd be like, what? He, he didn't. Know, he, he didn't know. Was, he didn't even realize. He, he didn't realize he was throwing a fart. He didn't know what the hell that noise was. What's that noise? You know what I mean? Oh, you know, I um, Mr. G finally brought back some more cookies today, so we let him back in the studio. Wow. So I, yeah, I, I know John Jones and I were just yeah. saying they taste really good. But you yeah, know what he Greg does now, John? He he only brings enough for like today. Like he used to right. bring these. Like I'd have enough for the whole week until the, the next week he came. Now he brings enough just to tease us, just a little bit to give the little right. plug for Mr. G's Protein Snacks dot com. This is his best cookie, I think. This is the um, the Lee Priest keto. pistachio keto cookie. It's only three grams of carbs, fifteen grams of protein. I think this is your is it, your best. There's one. a cup and a half of. of Pistachios in a in four. I love the pistachios now. I I want to I mean, pick them pistachio. out. I'm picking them out, and eating the pistachios separately. They're so good. Yeah, John and I were just yeah. saying the same thing. <laughs> really yeah, yeah. Greg, 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 Greg and I were just thinking about how much we don't fucking give right. a shit. Well, next so, up, <laughs> one of my my helpers <laughs> coming back. My son my son Wait. works with me, and, and he went away for a week, so he'll be he's back. I got to pick him up at Lauderdale right after this. So, so I uh, you know I got this little. Wait, with you I, I got what the shooter. audience doesn't know is that we've been sitting, John and I have been sitting here watching you eat these things way before we even started. Yeah. Well, we, we talked before the show, <laughs> and you had like 10 great. cookies over there licking your fingers yeah, and shit. We, we, and, we, and we had a great show before the show. I know. Always that always do. happens. We so, always do, yeah. Oh, so, we always do. I, I got to tell you this story. So I got this scooter, right? My scooter. I don't know if you can see it. But... You want me to lift it up? Yeah, yeah lift it up, George. I got this scooter, you know, because I got the, the I got my foot in a cast for another eight weeks or whatever it is. Next next Monday I get my new cast on. I'm gonna get blue. I he's think. got his little bag. His little his little goodie. I got bag my little yeah. I got my little my new bang right. bag there. And no, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so I got the scooter, which is pretty cool. Do, it's do like they a have a clamp? Do they have a clamp for your oxygen yeah, it's like, tank? It's got, <laughs> it's got four wheels. On. Now, just to, I have the, I, you guys haven't been to my house, but I have this very long driveway. And I mean, this scooter. Yeah, let's see what's in this bag. There's nothing in there. This scooter, uh, this scooter can go so fast. Like you know, it's. I mean, it's really. It's like a bicycle, really. I mean, it has the same. It, it has shocks on it. It's got brakes on it. <laughs> and I was coming on this this past weekend. I was scootering back from my from the the building here where we film to my house, which is across the driveway. But it's up a hundred feet, and I was going pretty fast on the thing, you know. And I hit a rock. There was like a lot. My kids left. A, I, and I saw the rock the yesterday, the day before. I said, you know, I really should move that. I'll probably wind up hitting it when it's a little like. When it's like I launched. Oh, I was like Evil Knievel in the air. I was like, oh no, I can't believe this. So I, I, as I was in the air so long that I said to myself, you better not try to put your feet down and land because you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wind up back in surgery again. So I said, just fall. So I, I put my hands out and I fell on my hands and you know my knee got a little scraped. And luckily, I didn't hurt myself. I don't know how I didn't hurt myself, but oh, he's got a bandaid on his knee. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you I said my knee. My father. And... I just let me just finish. The straight of thought. So I, as it's happening, I'm thinking my, I'm becoming my father because that's what happens, right? When when you start to repeat what your parents do, I'm like, what my my father used to always say, yeah, I fell, but I I know how to fall from football and you know your role and your 
hit the hands and roll. And I, like <laughs> all this is going through my head in like a millisecond of when this is happening. And I said, you know what? I'm fucking old. I can't believe it. I, I finally got old. Was That's... anybody there? Was you... No, no one was there because they went out. Did you tell your wife? Yeah, I told no. her. Yeah, of course. She made fun of me. You know what John's now. thinking? She knows no, now. She knows. I told her. Holy shit, what a pussy. I'm... The, the, John's yeah, like, I'm driving right a motorcycle right, right. and fucking <laughs> right. hitting rocks and fucking... John's over there hitting rocks, going over speed bumps <laughs> in a motorcycle, pulling wheelies, and you're tripping off a little fucking right. That's right. jazzy That's scooter. Right. That, that's what I'm thinking. I would have just landed, ridden it out, landed. You know? I went, it, John. I was launched off of the thing. It's not like I had a, there's no seatbelt. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> no, when no you're a kid, you know when you're a kid. You know when you're a kid. You guys did this when you were a kid. You're riding your bike John's without, 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 your without your hands. You remember when you're a kid? Yeah, you remember stomach. when you're, you're driving yeah. and, and then the handlebar yeah. turns on you and, and then you go you, flying off the bike. And yeah. It goes right into your stomach first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I used to have this one friend. Whenever we would ride together. He'd be looking and talking to me. He crash into like a parked car. That ever happened? To him? You guys, that ever happened to me? I, yeah, I, when I was doing a charity <laughs> event, I was doing doing an Ironman. Yeah, and I and on, on the bike ride, I crashed into a car. Oh, did you? I kept. It's going. so embarrassing. Isn't no, it I kept that? going. Well, you didn't go off the bike then. No, the guy, because I was in Montauk, and, and there's, there's one stretch where there's a beach about eight miles up. Yeah. And I'm going about 30, 40 miles an hour, right, right. down this hill. Oh, down a hill. And, I'm make, and the guy's, and I'm, I'm, I want to make sure the guy sees me, because I know he's going to try and make a right. Right. Right? So we're going, we're going, going. <laughs> and I think he sees me, he stops. He goes. Oh, no. I put the back brake on and slide, you know, yeah. not the front brake, and slide my back. I smash in the car. I slam my fist on the top of the hood. You idiot! <laughs> and I kept going. Then you, we just did. you probably did more damage to his car than he did to your bike. I kept going. That was when John I... drives a fucking Harley, and he's listening to you guys. One's driving a Huffy, the other's driving a Jazzy. And <laughs> John, John, John like, uh, Mr. G's fuck, got the only hit and run in, in, in history. In John's bicycle. like thirty miles an hour. I drive my bike in my driveway thirty miles an hour. <laughs> anyway. Right, John. Yeah, I, so, that day, let me tell you, I swam three miles. I, I biked a hundred yeah, miles. He did it. He did and an I Ironman. I ran thirty miles. He did it himself. His so, own yeah, Ironman. Twelve miles. My own charity. I I I, I raised money for for uh, for, Breast, the, for this right. women's uh, organization for right. for uh, women who are, who are get abused. So I I was gonna have this event. And no, no one, one showed up. No one want, Well, no one wanted to do the whole. No one wanted to do a whole Ironman. You know, Yo, it was swim too, it was too long. Yeah, it's out my. You know, out, out in the Hamptons. So I, I had these big signs made up, right? Yeah. The Jeff LeBrett Surfer Fund, and uh, I went to the fire department. They hung it up across the whole Main Street. Oh my God. I'm the only guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only, I raised like four grand, yo. Too bad you didn't know Ricky back then. Ricky would have done it with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only guy running. I had I had soul stars. Ricky would have beat would him, him too. I dressed I don't know about that. I dressed I I had all stars and stripes stuff, yo. And I had snack tables on the run. He was dressed like Apollo Creed. Yes, Did I, you have a boa? I, I used to dress like that all the time. The stuff oh, from oh, Auto Mix. Auto Mix has the USA boa. stuff. Yeah, I used to wear that you all the time. Like Hulk Hogan. Yeah. His neck, you know. Like Hulk Hogan. Right. Yeah, yeah. The name so my George, company is American Person. George, one time I in Santa Monica, I got a speeding ticket on my bicycle. Did you really? <laughs> no. How fast are you Santa going? Monica. On on on. Forget the the road that goes along the beach in Santa Monica. I forgot Pacific. the name. Pacific. Pacific, right, right along the park. You know, there's a park there, yeah. and I was coming back from riding on on San Vicente, and it's it's downhill a little bit. It's a slight downhill. They had just repaved it, and I was run doing you know the the down to up to Twenty First Street and back. It's this thing you go up the hill, come down, up the hill, right. come down. I got did that like ten times. I'm riding, come done with my workout. I'm coming home. This guy comes that's been was doing laps with me. To, so we're, comes up next to me. He's like passes me. Oh. So I'm, so I go, fuck, that you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so you, Georgie, you understand. Yes, I go of right course. after him, right? So him and me are racing down Pacific <laughs> Avenue, like standing on the seat, you know, like that. <laughs> and and there's and at Santa Monica Pier, there's a motorcycle cop with a with a radar gun. Oh god. He he sees he sees them, he goes up Colorado Boulevard, takes a left, like in front of traffic, goes up Colorado Boulevard. I pass the cop, the cop. Stands in front. I'm going up to the cop. The cop gets out and stands in front of me like it blocks my way. <laughs> I almost fucking killed her. 
So she, she stops me and, and she's and she, and she gives me a speeding ticket. She goes, I was I, I was going forty one in a oh, thirty. In a forty? Forty one in a thirty. Oh, so, a 30. pretty fast. So that's fast on a bike. Yeah, it's very fast it's on a bike. But we were flying. I was cranking forty one. I got it on radar, but it was downhill. It was definitely what downhill. kind of bike, John? Trek. A Trek. You, you, Trek road did, you, did you have clip-ins? Did you Absolutely. Have... Yeah, no, I was all into it back Oh, you then. clipped it? You were clipped in there? Clipped in. I was clipped in. I was... You're man, lucky man. you were able to stop in front of her. So you could have hit her. You're not kidding, man. It was like a, it was a panic stop. So I go, what the fuck? So she goes, you're speeding. I go, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm speeding. I'm a bicycle, right? So she, I clocked you going 41 miles an hour. I go, well, there's something fucking wrong with your radar gun. You know, so she, Writes me and she goes, well, you can take it up in court. I go, fine. She writes me the ticket. I go to court. It, it, the judge it calls my name. I'm standing there. The cop is there. So he goes, he reads the ticket you're charged with for speeding. And he's reading and he goes, on a bicycle? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting here going like this. He goes, get out of here. Oh, did he really? Oh, that's great. Yeah, he threw me out of the court. But yeah, she, she fucking wrote me a ticket for going. I don't think. What about the other guy, guy, John? He no, he went. He he took a left. He, oh. he ran. Away. He got away. He, he ran a red light. He ratted. He, he ratted John out. He called ahead. He ran a red light. She got him later. Yeah, she got him. I, I doubt. I don't know. But he was. <laughs> but that was. That was. I was. I, Dude, with all this shit going on in Santa Monica, she's worried about some guy on a bicycle I mean, speed. This is quota. Quota. I, I know that area. It's fucking. That's a shit hole. Like this is thirty five years. But Greg, this is thirty five years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's. Well, they that's had nothing else to do. There. They were bored. Maybe 40 years ago. By Speaking now. of um, yeah. uh, 40 years ago, I'm watching this uh, new uh, show on, you got you guys would like this. It's on uh, Apple TV. It's called Physical. It's about a, this couple, they're like a hippie-ish, you know, Berkeley, California couple. Uh, the, the husband's like a college professor. The, the, the wife is like, you know, a housewife, but she does like ballet and she discovers aerobics. And it's kind of like the flash dance, like era. It's and it's all eighty stuff, like all like early nineteen eighty ish, you know, just leaving the seventies into the eighties. It's really well. It's first of all, it's very funny. Rose Byrne plays the main role, and uh, I just started watching it. I have, I've only watched a couple episodes. You guys would love it just because it's very nostalgic as far as the the eighties culture goes. That whole aerobics, you know, yeah, flash dance, <laughs> Jane Fonda. Yeah. Yeah. James, yeah, where it all came from. Are they Maybe. wearing leg warmers? The yeah. leg warmers, right? Yeah. Still, like, still like leg warmers. Leg warmers. And, she, <laughs> and Rose yeah. Byrne looks great on that. As a matter of fact, she even she looks and sounds like uh, 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 Julia Louise Dreyfus, but it's not her. It's just Rose Byrne. She's really, really good in this, and it and it's very funny too. It's not just like a good like series. It's funny too. So, if you guys, uh, Greg, anyone remember, out Greg, there, remember in Golds when the girls would wear the the, the tights. And then put yes. the thong on over yeah. the tight. Top, Every, in all gyms, the they would. And the funny you thing, know, John. You that. Cameo Newer. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. that's. Corey's uh, sister. What's her name? Corey like Everson's Corey sister. sister. Cameo Newer. Who I used to talk to. I think she was the hottest fuck. I love that girl. But she always had that. The fucking thing up her ass. Yeah. With the, with, you know. The leg warmers. The fucking, yeah, I love that. To do it. The, the funny thing and about the, the hair, series. The headbands. The fucking headband. Yeah. The, I wore warmers, headbands, the headbands. It was great. That was a great. That was a great year. You know, but this, the okay, best times. who will admit to having taken an aerobics class? Maybe I mean, once, I or once or twice. Once or twice. I, I, are you, I wanted to bang the aerobics at, at Jack Delaney. That's <laughs> all you. Yeah. Yeah. Some you girl see, would you know, talk you into doing an aerobics class. That's the only way we, you, you guys mad, would go They got mad at me because I would do like a thousand different, thousand ab exercises. You know, <laughs> they're like, we don't want him as an instructor. He's too hard. <laughs> But the funny thing about the whole thing is that the woman, the main character, her name is Sheila, and the, the, the husband is a college professor, and it looks like my parents. You know, my mother's name was Sheila. It yeah. totally reminds me of like my father and my mother. It's, <laughs> not that my mother looked like that, but I'm just saying the whole, that whole era and the whole the sideburns, you know, and the whole, the whole 70s look, you know, your dad and 80s your look. Mom, I mean, your, yeah. once your, your mom passed away. Your but dad, I just see, you yeah. see all the stresses and all the arguments yeah. they were having about money and all. It, was just, it just reminded me of like my childhood a little bit. It, if you come my from the 80s, if you were, you're going to love this show. Greg, you're going to love this show, I'm telling you. Physical. I love all that stuff. Yeah. You know, that's when I back in the gold gym era when John just talked about that. He's so he's so dead on. I remember all the girls wore that. The fucking they wore those tights with the thong on the back. You know, 
That was, was the look. So many outsides. The big hair. Yeah, yeah, and if you saw her hair yeah, in the thing, she has the big, the, the all had, everyone had perms, you know, right? You know, it was, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know if this is still going on, but Golds was like, I, I mean, you dressed to go there. I mean, all the dudes who had, everything was co- color coordinated. This, hot you know, skins. The, the hot skins, right? Body Alive. Pack and that the, was like. And the, the Body Alive gear and yeah. the Mike Christian stuff and Rick Ciotti stuff. Remember? Gary Stridham's. Crazy wear. <laughs> Like Crazy in the nineteen, rare. like it, the beginning right. in the nineties, that shit was but really big. The yeah. atomic shoes and the yeah. auto oh, yeah. and all of that shit. Now, now it's like nobody. Everyone's like, generically because dressed. Because yeah. Gold's yeah. Right. They, with their own that's T-shirt, that's right. Dave Palumbo's, uh, you know, uh, gym or Mr. G's cookies or this one's, you know, everyone's got their it's own slogan. The now, right? It's not the same. Back then, Gold podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Was the, was the, yeah. Back then, Gold Gym was the mecca. It was the real spot to go. Now, today, it's it's not the same. You go in there, no shit, they hit the whole Olympia lineup training in there. You know what yeah. I mean? That's and why when I was cool bodybuilders. I wish that's why I wish Jimmy was here because he. I talked to him when you know when he was at, at Gold's and he said, "Man, you were right, John. It's fucking tense everywhere. It's like empty. It's well, nothing like it used yeah. to be." When aerobics first started, John, they would pack those classes in with a hundred women. You know, I used and- to go. With- now people do it in their living room. They're like, oh, I don't want to yeah, go anywhere. Yeah, I'll just yeah, do it yeah. in my living room, you know. Well, they got this Peloton thing now. That's big, yeah, you know? yeah. We have the Peloton bike. Yeah. No one wants to leave the house anymore. That's why people they don't even want to go to work. It. Half the well, people well, work from the house it. now. They started it with COVID, you know, yeah. lock everybody up, and now people got used to working from home. Now yeah. nobody wants to go to the fucking office anymore, nope. and the office has no justification for wanting them there because productivity is higher. They found that when people work home than when they work at the office. Really, huh. so they have no argument. And now it's it's now we know what you know. We don't have rush hour anymore. It's just traffic all the time. <laughs> now, why is that? If, if everyone's working because from home, because everybody's working from home, so they got they got their own schedule. Oh, so instead yeah. of having to do shit before work or after work, now they're doing it all during the fucking day because they can work at eight o'clock at night if they want to. <laughs> we you know? also got more so, online businesses now, more than that ever. Too, right? Uber, oh, Uber is going to start delivering everything. So it's going to who go- goes to the who goes to the fucking mall anymore? No, you don't. You're not going to have to. Uber's going to start that, delivering sneakers. Well, that this this show physical goods. talks about how the beginning that was the beginning of the malls, like in the, in the early '80s. That's when all the right, malls started right. popping up, and that was the place to go. Everyone hung out at the mall all day. Well, it's coming. Ba- it's coming back before the industrial revolution. You, 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 know, you know what else? You know what else grew stuff. back then was the giant gym, like the, like Sports Connection was the big one. Yeah. The first one in California, Santa Monica. I used to, that's where I took an aerobics class because uh, I had racket. and Dally's was big, yeah. yeah Jack Delaney. Jack Delaney was Jack Yeah, my, yeah, my friend European Health Spa. Spa. Yeah, yeah. European Health Spa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. European but Sports Spa. Connection. Jack Delaney. Yeah. Yeah. Big Tannies. Yeah. yeah, Big Tannies was another, right? And then Jordan. Bally's bought a, them all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bally's bought them. My friend was the vice president. He hired us to start the one-on-one. We started the one-on-one training funny. program at, at, I remember. at, at Jack Delaney. Right we had the yeah, keys to about... the valleys. And I, and That's I when we the early 90s. We the fork in the road. That's when we started. You know, hardcore went this way, right. and the health club went that way. John, what about the early 90s? The Gold's gyms were everywhere. World's gyms, powerhouse gyms, right? Pit Bull Even gyms. No matter what, no, the, the one to be at was the one in Venice. Of it course. Was everything... Never. It it's was a one. fucking circus in there every single day. You every would day. go. I would go on my day off. I didn't want to miss anything. I didn't want to, you know. <laughs> I hung out it. there. I, I was like you. fucking. Nowadays, you know what's happening? Pull up the slide I sent you, Tyler. Rick Collins posted this was this was this is almost I, I, I cringeworthy that that this people now you have these Instagram experts, right? You went from oh, Gold's Jesus, Gym Venice right. to into get experts that are posting slides. Uh, that uh, glucose and mineral salts build muscle. You don't need protein. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. I'm not making this up. Protein does not build muscle. Yeah, look, at, look at the guy's shape. To build muscle. <laughs> look at the guy. Look, he's got cankles. <laughs> the guy's got cankles. Is, is, he wearing, is he wearing diabetic socks? This is the information no, they're putting out there. Him. He's got diabetic socks <laughs> on. Social media has destroyed the body. You gotta be kidding me. This is why I, I, brother I want to shoot channel. myself in the head when I see stuff like this. It's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Yeah, it's, uh, veganism. That's what they're promoting. 
Yeah, it's not just eat glucose, it. glucose and mineral salts. That's all you need to build muscle. Yo, Healthy carbs. I had a with so eat I had bananas a, wait, and look, celery. 594 likes. Yeah, no, people, they agree with this person. Dude, you need, look, look to build muscle, game. you need heaps of you glucose. Power, <laughs> power of compassion. <laughs> That's stupid shit. Power right of there. compassion. That sounds like that's dumb. Like, like, yeah, but you like know what, Greg? Want, somebody's going to try. Know. Somebody's going to go to the store now. They're going to buy seventeen heads of celery <laughs> and, 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 and and twenty bunches of bananas, and they're going to sit there fucking eating this shit and like pass an out. And when they still, and, when they still work out, and then they're going to go to the gym and they're going to drop ninety <laughs> pounds on their chest and and die. You know? Listen, I hey Dave, I had a war with that guy Vegan Gains online. Oh, right? yeah. And he was eating other shit aside from that. These guys that call, like, there's a girl who does this carnivore channel. And she eats, like, the meat girl, the carnivore girl. You know, she's like the skinny Asian chick. I'm sure some of you guys watching this have seen her. And there's no way that chick, to, you know, for breakfast, she eats steak. For lunch, she eats, like, lamb chops. For fucking dinner, she'll eat, like, chicken and shit. Nobody's eating that. You can't. Sustain Greg, you know what it is. Shit. People love extreme things. They, it's a fad thing. It's not sustainable. Look, I've, look, I've been advocating my high protein, moderate fat diet for twenty five years, and it's, 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 it's always relevant because it's healthy diet. It's going to build muscle. It helps you burn fat. You cannot do extreme diets like only eating meat. Okay, that, we know that's ridiculous. Just like you can't just eat, you know, greens and 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 survive. Anything that's on the but, on the crazy spectrum on either side never su is sustainable but, the point, but people but like that, to jump on fads for short periods of time and you can make money with that that's what these things are Dave, the point is they're lying okay yes. it's just like when you hear like fucking aoc say cows we gotta get a rid cows you can't eat for red meat cows fart with the get and you should be eating more vegetables <laughs> anyway fart. and then they catch her in a fucking restaurant and she's eating a fucking in south florida yeah and bunker with todd she's like <laughs> right. yeah <laughs> bunker with todd the same fucking yeah. place that she with, said with, florida with meat is juice dripping down on yeah. <laughs> you know she said florida's a disgrace to the country because of you know because of ron DeSantis and all meanwhile she's down in florida she's eating the exact same food that she's saying we need to get rid of you understand <laughs> go vegan or go home meanwhile these people that are vegans on the on the internet when they're done they laugh <laughs> these people believe i really eat like greg that. you remember arnold went through this whole vegan thing and then they opened his refrigerator yeah he opened yeah, his refrigerator <laughs> right. He's fucking steaks. No, he did. You didn't. and I both. No, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's such. Yeah, he was. He like was advocating he's veganism a for a while. Bullshit artist. Yeah. I, oh my god. Did he get? Did he? Did he get propagandized? Or, or I don't know what happened. He, he was promoting that movie. What? That? What's his name? Made uh, uh, his friend from the Terminator there with Cameron. Didn't Cameron make a movie? Oh, on, oh, 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 yeah. um, yeah. What James Cameron. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. It's about the green eating shit. Yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and he had because yeah, he he's friends he with him, so he promoted it. I think, but you know, Arnold's not a vegan. I just shipped cookies to Schwarzenegger Labs. <laughs> I swear to God, did you? I wrote on. I, had, I wrote all sorts of stuff on it. I'll be back. Thank God for the second. Where Amendment. Was you, where'd you ship he's it? He's gonna to? think they're uh, poison. Throw them oh, out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One of his the Terminator is back. Can you imagine if Arnold <laughs> bought cookies from Mr. G? He did. Oh, these cookies, they look very delicious. <laughs> I, I'm going to try some of these things. Gonna, uh, Never give up. God yeah, loves yeah, you. Yeah. Yo, dance, sing, do the moonwalk. Imagine, imagine <laughs> Arnold, on the, on the top Arnold of the goes on his Instagram and starts saying, I don't know, I bought these cookies from Mr. <laughs> Mr. No, Mr. They Snag, order, Mr. G. They order every month. They're fucking delicious. They, it's got to be, it's Schwarzenegger Labs. Well, does it, do you think there's another Schwarzenegger somewhere in the world? Nah, how, how can it be Schwarzenegger Labs? How can it be, I mean. Because they're on. probably just doing that to, to try to, you know, use his name. You know, I think it's a, it, it's his um, nephew. <laughs> Georgie, back in the day, I knew these guys who would buy them selling steroids mailing them to each other and they would mail them to Lee Haney right, right. and Rich Kishwari. <laughs> and you know, they put in the name, you know, Gary Stridham. They use everybody's big name and you know at their address. Yeah, you got, I don't think it's the real Arnold Schwarzenegger. But uh, it would be so, funny you know, if Arnold did did order them. Oh, you know what I write on the top of the box now? I go, this what? is this box is this is a patriotic box. <laughs> <laughs> this box has positive powers. <laughs> Got to do a hundred push-ups you know, before you open I, the box. I'm gonna have Mr. G. I'm gonna I'm gonna have Mr. G. I'm gonna ask Chris Angel if he wants to try your your keto cookies because he's he he's a very picky eater and he's always like trying to find things to eat. I'll have you send him a box. You can do some like put some right. magic stuff on the outside of it. He'll he'll give you a plug. He'll definitely give you a plug on his Instagram if he likes him. 
Okay, I'm All sure. Right? I'm sure. Well, I'm sure he will. Because he's now he's trying to get, you know he has a TV show coming up, so he's oh, trying yeah. yeah he's trying to get in shape, really good shape for the TV show. Uh-huh. So um, he's been asking. He called me the other day and he was asking me, you know, you know what he should be eating, and I sent him a bunch of supplements, and so maybe we'll send him a box of cookies. He'll yeah, love. Ask him if he likes pistachio. Great idea. I'll send yeah. him the pistachio and the macadamia. Though. Yeah, yeah. He's. I'll find out what yeah. he likes because he's he's got he's got his own chef, but he only eats chicken. I'm like, you don't even need a chef. I said, I need, send your chef over to my house. I said. I, I talked to the chef. I'm like, what, what do you... He goes, he only eats chicken. I said, be different. what does he need you for? He goes... Well, because who's going to make it? Right. He still doesn't want to cook he, it. He's, yeah. he's too busy doing yeah. his other stuff. Yeah, he needs people to do stuff. He doesn't, doesn't want to cook it. Right. You know, you talk he, about he, radical he, diets. You know who Jordan Peterson is, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. He he was sick, and, and he eats only meat and water, and he never cheats, ever. Oh, he's a carnivore guy? So, so yeah, he's just and, I, I, and, I, and you know he's Canadian, right? And I had a client, have a client. She's from Newfoundland, up there, and uh, same with her. I, she had problems all with her, all kinds of. She was a like almost allergic to carbohydrates. She right. vegetables gave her problems, carbs gave her problems. So I'm thinking to myself, you're fucking Newfoundland. You're an Eskimo. What did you used to eat when a right. thousand years ago? Right. Like a whale blubber, right? Yeah. So. Eat, just eat meat. Eat nothing but meat, which is what Jordan Peterson did. When you're ancestrally like that, I believe it makes Connelly said that. Scream, yep. but it worked. I mean, this girl is healed now. She's she competes. She won. She was in the top ten in the world in in CrossFit. You right. know. Well, from, that's why when you take these Japanese people that their whole life have eaten fish and seaweed, and right. now you feed them McDonald's, they all you get heart McDonald's disease and die. They come you know? here and they, they turn into sumo yeah. wrestlers. Yeah. I know exactly what happened. <laughs> Do you know those sumo yeah, wrestlers? Jordan Peterson, Jordan Peterson's daughter supposedly cured. Uh, right. I, I don't yeah. know if it was rheumatoid arthritis or some shit that she had by just doing the same thing, eating water and meats. Well, that was the Atkins diet. Yeah. That's... Dr. Atkins developed that and then they tried to. Just, some people have dude, very. But Dr. So... Atkins was not a diet doctor. Dude, I'm. No, dude, I know dude, that. There's no diet doctors, Greg. They just, no. he just called himself one. No, but you know what? But what? When yeah. you have carbohydrate issues. <laughs> Wait, this. wait, Greg, finish that. Yeah, thing. finish the Blackman finish. statement Black, here. Blackman, Blackman knew him. We were in a fucking, uh, we were in a fucking restaurant. One, Al Alexander, the cod father. <laughs> so he goes, he goes to me. Oh shit, this look. And he walked over to him and he said a few words, you know. And I nodded. And, said, and he goes to me, look what he's eating. And he was eating pasta. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you know why? You know why though? Because Doctor Atkins was a morbid. He he did surgery on the morbidly obese. Right. And he designed this little thing for you to lose weight rapidly by cutting out carbohydrates right. and basically eating like fucking meats and bacon and shit like that. And it worked high fat, you know, uh, moderate protein. And you know, the morbidly obese who are used to eating fucking loaf of bread for, for dessert and shit, you know, they lost. Greg, you want to know what was, what was really said when Blackman left the table? What? You know what Atkins said to his wife? He goes, he probably said that's the little weaselly guy who's always advocating carbohydrates. <laughs> no, yeah. No, Remember yeah, the carb just, wars, John? That cost us our cost, cost us our job. Right. Our, yeah. Because we were advocating no, was, ketogenic no, eating. No, but what was what was better than the carb wars is how it also piggybacked the omega three war. Remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause that Cause was, he was saying A L A, you gotta take A L A. And, and and but AL your body can't use it. It's got to convert to DHA and EPA. Yeah. And he wouldn't he wouldn't agree yeah. that you got to get it from fish. <laughs> he wanted you to get it from seaweed <laughs> or flax some seed. Shit. Yeah. And we say let the fish do it for you. Yeah, you know, yeah. and so yeah, flaxseed flax doesn't seed. work. So flaxseed. Humans don't convert the parent compound of omega-3 fats, which is alpha linolenic acid, to usable form, DHA, EPA. Right. We have well, like a no, 10%, do- it's a 10% efficiency. It's very right. inefficient. So right. you're very better right. off having a, a, a animal source of omega-3s. That's why when I, in my omegalized formula, right. I put fish oil in there with the omega-6, you know, uh, evening primrose oil. You can't put flaxseed in there, which is what most of these essential fatty acid supplements are, because we just don't convert it to usable form. If I was a cow... Different story. So it's a waste. Yeah. It's a waste, right? Waste. So, so it's, just, it's just a marketing. Just a... it's people so, do so, it because because it's cheaper. That's why. 
Right. So and, and, yeah, and it's and it's more difficult. I'm the only and one, as far as I know, that, that like produces it. fish oil and primrose oil in the same formula. Yeah. Now, oh, now, so it was the car. It was the it was the fish oil and the carbs. Yes. Okay. Which he was dead wrong on both counts. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely dead wrong. And then. He gets rid. There were a couple other things that facilitated the firing, but it was all together, right? Yeah. Then he went on this tirade after we were gone. Remember, article after article yes. after article yeah. after article. <laughs> omega threes, carbohydrates. Yeah. Omega threes, car <laughs> So he's like trying to prove we're gone. Yeah. We're gone. We're like we we, we need a rearview mirror, okay? Right. And he's still trying to fight. Carry with us. on. Yeah, he's carrying on <laughs> Carry for two on. years, three years. He probably I know. <laughs> So you guys, you guys got fired over over carbs. <laughs> the carb wars. Oh, it's like the Clone the wars, wars with Star Wars. You That's remember? That's really the reason. <laughs> there's other. There's other things. There was too. other. I mean, because it, it, it was just one. Also, no, he wanted to go into business with me for my supper. But it was company. weird. One day, one day you're there, and one day the next. I remember we were like. It, what ha I don't think he really wanted to fire us. I think his family and 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 all the little minions that he had working for him. They were the ones who kind of pushed him to do it, and then I think he regretted it afterwards. But he he had to stick by his decision, so he kind of had to lay in his bed after he made it, you know, so to speak. That's what happened with me. That's yeah. what he told me later on. He said, "Greg, I made a mistake. I, you know, he had that Adina, and remember when he hired Adina yeah. and all them? Yeah. And uh, she fucking destroyed that shit. But regardless, you jo know, she was like, he's got a foul mouth. You know, he uh. he cusses a lot. <laughs> you know, and." Meanwhile, I've been here 15 years. You now all of a sudden you're worried about fucking foul mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah. You know, because I'll write about shit, girl throwing a fart in your face or something like that, and she's like, "That's like Wait, disgusting." One day, one day we're sitting in that little conference room. Dave and me are right here. Elise Blackman, they're all around. Remember with the kids from upstairs? Yeah. Were, right. Greg sends Dave. One of his classic porn, oh, you no. know, yeah. anal sex, <laughs> dripping fucking um, <laughs> emails. <laughs> and Dave opens it. Oh. Dave opens it at the table. <laughs> And this, this guy's it comes squirting her out of a rat <laughs> hole. Oh, wait, you had your laptop there? Yeah. You had your laptop? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I had no laptop. And Elise is, Elise I used to is send like that looking shit at the <laughs> I used to send that shit to Jimmy the Bull, too, and he would fucking freak out. You sick son of a bitch. I was telling the you most like, girls taking shit. But where the girl would spread her ass and she'd throw a I got to set this up out. for you because Dave... Dave would only wear shorts, right? <laughs> so they didn't want him wearing shorts at the office. We kept his pair of jeans and it was still folded over <laughs> the back of the chair. So we're starting a meeting, he's trying to put his jeans on. He's got your email open, his, his <laughs> trip quadruple X-rated scene is playing. And it's right in front of Elise is like staring right at it. And Dave's got like one leg in his pants. I'm glad you enjoyed my oh. email. So you didn't even get to turn it off. No, no. I'm glad you oh. enjoyed my <laughs> No, because he had his pants down. Yeah, I had to get my pants on. Why did you have to wear pants? Because they wanted me to wear pants. They didn't want me to wear shorts in the office. Who knows? What? I don't know. Someone in the office. Because probably one of the, the, the rejects upstairs. Georgie, it was 18 degrees outside. <laughs> I used to wear shorts. Yeah. No, because yeah. they had the heat cranking and it was so hot. But I guarantee one of those those guys upstairs probably complained that I got to wear shorts or something like that. I'm sure of it. Because no one came yeah, into the but, office. Because because everybody saying. because everybody wants to wear shorts in right. February. Everybody. <laughs> I used to wear shorts. Every Steve, morning. Steve I'm, loved it. I'm Steve glad loved my it, email helped you. Yeah, oh yeah, he went sure. home and did the shpakim to it. You know what I mean? The, still, the best the best scene over there was when we had. We, I think it was Christmas time. We were brainstorming for the coming year. John John came in from Florida, or wherever he was from. Strategize, strategize, and and Alan, who is the the inept uh, sales guy they had there, who was only interested in haunted houses, he he couldn't sell any advertising on RX Muscle, and we said we were trying to tell that's Steve. Not Alan, that's Adam. 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 Adam Ginsburg. Al Alan is the other yeah, one. No, Alan Alan's the, cool. Alan Alan's the cool. Guy. It was Adam right. Ginsburg. Alan was a good guy. And right. Adam's Alan like, was that, was Adam, that was Adam Ginsburg. We can't sell any advertising. There's no business model here. And they were trying to like foo foo the website. And we're like, MD online. Yeah. So, so, right. so John, they gave John and I like a week to, or two to, to try to sell it ourselves because he thought we would never sell it. We got like two advertising, eight grand or something like that, a piece or something like that. 
for well, a month. between the two, it was twelve grand. Yeah, a month, a month. Yeah, and, then, and, month. and now, so now Adam's like, all right, I'll take it from here. He wanted to get the commission on the the, the advertising we brought in, and John fucking wiped out, mopped up the floor with this guy. I mean, like, like to the point where I actually felt bad for him, even though he deserved it, you know. <laughs> and that's when you said you decided to have the uh, the big show at the Arnold. Well, that was yeah. after that, but but I oh, think yeah, then Blackman right. realized that there was money to be made on the website once we yeah. once we brought that cash in. So then they signed all those athletes because Blackman like didn't like to do things first. He liked to be the second guy to do it. He liked to be the follower. I you know I was a leader. Well, I wanted he wasn't to, an entrepreneur. I he, wanted to innovate he, things. He didn't make his money. That that money. That was, no, no, he no, would no, like no. Dad's if, if, if business, Steve was like the guy like who. He liked he liked to pretend he was first, but like if someone brought creatine out, he tried to bring out a better creatine. That would be the that's how he marketed. Well, it. that was a perfect example. Yeah. Like, who, creatine was Bill Phillips. He yeah, had a bag of it sitting under his desk for a, a year before right. he even opened it. Right. All right. He starts coming out. Then Blackman. So his, Blackman's idea is, I'll wait for everybody else to do the R and D because they'll do it for free. That way, I get it for free. You know, <laughs> fucking cheap. Do it right? better. That's it, right? That yeah, was yeah, his model. Do it better, but, but I'll let them do the R and D. You know, <laughs> so, and then because he doesn't know what he's doing right, is what really right, the truth right, about right, it. Right. So yeah. So then Bill Phillips came out with 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 creatine. Oxygen H D. Well, Duchesne was writing about it in, in Muscle Media 2000. Right. And then so Blackman decides they're going to come out with creatine. Then he was always, Twin was first to market with creatine. He, which he wasn't. Yeah, which he wasn't. Which he wasn't. It was totally yeah. not no, true. But what happened was Phillips came out with phosphogen, and then you had to drink it with grape juice. Right. So then Phillips came out with the fucking genius idea. I'll just mix the sugar in there, call it HP, high performance. Right. Right. Because the sugar brings the creatine into the muscle. Right. So that was like the big thing. Phosphogen HP, the next level. But you know it who did it? Like, you know who did it even better than Phillips? Muscle ooh. tech. With muscle cell tech. tech, right? Or was that was it what is it called? Yeah. Cell tech? Yes, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was <laughs> like it was a hundred grams of sugar. It was like five grams of creatine. You were paying a, all the money. 40 bucks for a tub, 12 servings of, of, of sugar, basically. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was a fucking pound of sugar and yeah. a fucking... <laughs> and a, a teaspoon of, of creatine. With, a, yeah. with, with some fucking... Stuff in it. So creatine oh, won't work yeah. unless you but have... But they came in a no, big you tub. you don't that sugar. Huh? And, and they found out you don't even need the sugar to get the creatine in the muscle. You can, you can actually mix but, it with protein. It'll go into the muscle. So. But Celtec marketed that oh. shit really oh, well. Oh, using Greg good. Kovacs as, as their guy, you know, to yeah. do it. They marketed it, but the way they, they put out a lot of ads and everything... Phillips, though, was a genius with that Muscle Media 2000, the way he did that. Yeah, that became yeah. a whole fucking entity because he would talk about steroids and he'd have the yeah. Dr. X in there talking yeah. about how he was going to do this. And yeah. Remember? Well, that's if who Blackman tried to copy. Let me yeah. tell you something. Bill Phillips knew how to put on a show. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, man. When, when we were having those magazine wars back in, back in the 90s, he flew me. He wanted to bury the hatchet. He flew me out. To Boulder, flew me first class. Really, picked me up and had a limo. Picked me up, brought me to the office. I got a tour. He had two giant steel buildings on like a V angle, like this. One was Muscle Media Two Thousand. The other one was EAS. Oh, I didn't know. And he, I, I got the whole. It was it. Well, he had a movie theater. He had a gym. gym. He had he. It was he had artwork and niches, sculptures. And this guy, TVs came out of the ceiling in his office. Wow. Like, it's like 1992. Yeah, right? I know. That's and, crazy. So, yep. yeah, and, and uh, uh, unbelievable. I had never seen, yeah, I've been to Weeders before, but Weeder was all about the artwork. You know, right. I've never seen such an opulence in, in, in my they had life. A, they had a chef there so people wouldn't have to go home, right? They would just stay yeah, all night. Yeah. They had a chef. They had a Playboy Playmate <laughs> girl. <laughs> with a literally a silver platter, okay, walking around the office with a silver platter. But she brought us lunch. She brought wow. us drink, Holy whatever. Shit. Fucking scorching. She was twelve on a scale of one to ten, right? <laughs> and, and she's walking around delivering shit on. It was. It was. He had. A, he had this. He had this uh, assistant guy that would just. Fuck do everything. You got a dentist appointment in 20 minutes. Cancel it. You got, you know, get his seats on the airplane. This guy like ran his life. All Bill had to do was like bob and weave. He was like yeah. everything taken care of. He had his mother working there, his brother, his but father. Right he too. did. He yeah. followed Dan Duchesne, though, because Duchesne came out with that shit first. 
He was a copycat yeah. of Dan Duchesne. Well, he hired no, Dan. No, no, no. Dan worked for him. Dan worked for no, him. No, wait, no, no, no. But I'm talking about Dan was there before. Dan used to do the dirty dieting fucking newsletters and all that. That shit. was after, actually, Greg. That was after. That was but after. Phil, Phillips did the Phillips did the newsletters first before Muscle Media 2000. No, what Phillips did, which was really genius, was but the Dan supplement did, guide. Yeah. Remember? And, yeah. And, 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 Dan and did the put, underground steroid handbook first, but then Phillips hired right, him to work there. Easy. But Dan right. did the underground steroid handbook in like eight, uh, uh, 1981 or something. Right, like but that. he probably didn't, make, I bet he didn't make that much money for I was that. up in his office. I was up in uh, Zumpano's office. You know who gave me that book? The, fir the first one I got was from uh, Mike Christian. He gave it to me. Right. Wait, was it the first one or the second one? No, I got the first. Well, he actually gave me um, the second one, the dieting one. You it know, just, remember you no, had the that dieting was, That was Body Opus. Right. No, 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 no. This the is before diet, that. He came dirty, out with dirty dieting. Dry, dirty dieting. So no, he had underground no, 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 steroid. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, this is what he, he had underground steroid handbook one. That was first. I still have some. Wait and he had underground steroid probably handbook under his table. Had the silver cover with him picture him on the back. Right, but, and but, it had but, the red pages in the middle. You couldn't photocopy. So, right, right. And but then between after that, those, dirty dieting, and then there was between body those, oil. he had the the old. Wait a minute, no, listen. He had the, he came out with the, the 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 underground steroid handbook. Then he came out with the ultimate diet handbook. It had a picture of a guy like this on it. Then he came out with um, the ultimate training handbook. Then he did the fucking went back to did the ultimate, uh, uh, you know, the the, the steroid the handbook. Too? I didn't know about yeah, those other two. Too. Yeah, but in there he had a the ult. I have it somewhere. I got it in the back. The ultimate diet handbook. And in there he talked about like basically kind of what guys are doing now. He would have you starve yourself, then fucking you know, like all this shit. You know, low carb stuff. You know, high fat stuff. The stuff. And back then, that's the '80s. That's the early '80s when everybody was on the high carb, right. no fat diet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So well, I Mauro remember reading Di Pasquale wanted you to eat all protein. He yeah, yeah. Moral, 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 moral Di Pasquale. But he the was opus, kind of like first with the that. Opus and all that shit came later. I had the opus. But, yeah, I, mean, but, I, but I don't think Dan ever made a lot of money till he worked for Phillips because I think Phillips right. paid him a shitload of money because he knew that he brought Dan brought eyeballs to that Muscle Media 2000 magazine. Yeah, I think I'm Dan made a lot of money. With, with Bill. That's what I'm he, saying. He, but Dan was there well. first, though. Dan was there first. Phillips used him to for what he could, you know, the way he did. But Phillips was a genius, a marketing. Well, actually, Greg, Scott Connolly was there first. Yeah, that's true. It was, it was Bill Phillips, Scott Connolly, and one other guy. Who was yeah, it? I don't remember. Well, before Metrics, Bill yeah, Connolly was there. Con that, Connolly invented metrics, but Phillips is the one who marketed metrics. They were right. partners, 50-50. No, I'm saying, oh, Phillips, I'm what, saying, what about Everson? Uh, no, he just now, worked Duchesne for them. Duchesne was there before all those guys with the with the ultimate, uh, you know, ultimate the steroid Army. handbook. That was he the first. Started, program. But they weren't. Dan wasn't making millions from that thing. Uh, right? No, he was. But you know what? Though later on, you know what? My girlfriend sold uh, my book on fucking eBay. This is like ten years ago for over two hundred and fifty dollars. Those books right now are all worth a lot of money. Well, his original his original price list. I know some guys have that, you know, from the juicy. Yeah, he, he but, did the dirty dieting fucking newsletter. But I'm saying Philip started out just doing newsletter. He was a drug dealer. He used to do yep. newsletters and shit. He was a bodybuilder. He was a yeah, drug body, dealer. Body, just a regular fucking guy. Yeah. But when he wrote that anabolic reference guide, that's what put him on well, the map. That was unbelievable. Because but no one point. had a book that comprehensive at the time. I read that thing 600 times before yeah. I ever even took an anabolic steroid. I but knew Dave, that book. he was a genius. Yeah. He was a genius. Yeah. You know yeah. why? Because he wrote that's the what? book. He wrote the book and he would say, there's no charge for the book. Just pay shipping and handling. He sold so many fucking shipping books like that. <laughs> Remember that handling. shit? But, the, but when he wrote, when the, he wrote the, supplement, the, the supplement guide, that the was the review guy. He, yeah. took, he took every supplement that was available on the market, every single one. There were thousands. Right. And he, and he, and he wrote about, described all of them. Yeah. Nothing. And, you know, evaluated them, including his own and, and you know, ranked oh, that's them. A great and, book then. Yeah, that's how that he was, was selling a lot of stuff. That's how he got into supplements. But, but I think that was that original anabolic reference guide is, and like I said, I've read that thing probably six hundred times. He, that's really what put him on the map. That set him apart because yes. no one understands Blackman, Weeder, Bob Kennedy. No one talked about drugs in the magazine. Right. That was taboo. No one did that. 
Bill was the first one to do it, and then he launched Muscle Media 2000, which was actually a magazine, and he talked about drugs in there, and everyone subscribed to that magazine right. because you couldn't wait to get that issue every week. And, and you know, and, and, month, and, there was, right. and there was also a lot of dissension about Weeder because Weeder would have all these ju- huge jacked guys, you know, yeah. doing these ads for supplements, right. and it was his, you know, victory line, supplement, whatever Weeder right. line. It was was implying that these guys got huge on these supplements, right? And it was it was all drugs. Well, John, yeah, but John would also what Phillips did if you don't if you remember it was he tested everyone's products, right? And he would show that a lot of these products. I remember Strength oh. Systems was the worst. Yeah, dude, oh, there was nothing in these products. They were lying. Universal, Universal used to have those little shampoo bottles that were like amino acids and shit, and it was nothing but sugar in it. Yeah. It was zero Bill close. exposed everyone. They all hated him. They hated him. It's funny. It's funny because what John, what John just said was true. Because when I was a teenager in the 70s, you know, I went, I remember I would take the fucking, weed, you know, I got real age flair, but I'd take the weed of protein powder. I'd fucking drink a shake and then go look in the mirror, see if I'm getting any bigger. <laughs> you know, the, what, what was interesting was the weeder products were good. They never, when Bill would test those, they never came back really bad, but there was a lot of other companies that were really bad. Oh yeah. He that exposed everyone. As a matter of that fact, he wouldn't, in it. he wouldn't take an ad in his magazine unless you got unless he tested your products first and then right, approved them. Right, right. Which was That's something true. no one did because everyone would take any magazine would take anyone's ad because they're whores, you know, like you know who. So, but yeah, he like wouldn't take any who. ads unless he tested your products and they were legit. Which I thought. You was know how cool. many of those letters I used to get? I used to handle for Blackman, which <laughs> people would write in. You know, I bought this stuff because they blame the magazine. They right. buy something off the ad, yes. and then it's shit, or they didn't get their money, yeah. or they ripped them off, or whatever. And then, <laughs> and then they complained to the magazine, right? And, and you know, yeah, you ain't take care of this, you know. <laughs> 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 But because yeah, but- he would take anybody's money, right? He would right. take, you know, if you have a fucking worm farm, he'd take your money. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's funny? Uh, but what Dave just said, Dave, I actually think that a lot of supplement companies cleaned up their act because, because of that. Bill- because yeah. of that, yes, right. Exactly. Because I remember Universal, dude. They had shit. They were like. He, he was putting out stuff like they had no protein. No. They even had the little protein cans, American bodybuilders. You're drinking that shit. It was like Yoo-Hoo. And I remember <laughs> Scott that used to work there once told me, well, the same people that make Yoo-Hoo make that. So you tell me. <laughs> but that was that's why people trusted Phillips because he actually looked like he was concerned about what people were doing. And he wanted to put out good information. And people will pay for information. And remember, there was no internet back then. So... He was the only game in town. Yep. Right. If Bill said and, use this, everyone used it because we and, trusted and then, him. And Did then and then Bill had Dan. And then and then Bill had Dan, and Dan was saying use this. Bill right. was making it. And 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 then he had Connolly, who was the doctor. I mean, who made the the the, the they were selling Metrex for 12 servings for 30, was it 36 bucks? Back then that was a lot. Then. A they wouldn't even money. wholesale it for the first four or five years. Yeah, you had every box, everyone paid box. retail for it. And, and you know, and you know what like you know what Philip and packets. And it wasn't even program. packets. No, it was two tubs. What two scoops of this, two yeah. scoops of that. And and the and one you know what? What? If if you bought whatever you bought from EAS, you got the next day. He was yeah. the first guy. To, he had the FedEx guy with a <laughs> container that goes in the airplane <laughs> in the warehouse. The FedEx guy was there all day scanning packages. Really? Wow. So if you, whatever you ordered from EAS, this is in the fucking early 90s. Whatever you ordered from EAS, you got it the next day. Oh, that's a great. Nobody was doing yeah, that. Yeah. No, that's a great model because yeah. this way they'll use it. They get it quick and they'll yeah, use yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah, and remember, there was no Amazon. There was no Amazon back then. Plus, it's impulse buying. Yeah. If you if, if somebody waits a day, they may change their mind. Right. Shit comes up. Right. Oh, I got to pay my telephone bill. Right. I can't buy it. Right, right. Yeah. Overnight, Bill would do these changed. articles in the magazine. He'd be like, I was going to make this new mural replacement shake, and then we decided we're not going to go with it. It was called Warrior Protein. I have a 1,000 units of this stuff. I'm going to offer it to you guys for 25 bucks. First thousand people, he'd sell those things in in, in an hour. He'd sell a thousand jugs, no. and that was through a magazine. There's no internet. There's Bill. no Instagram. There's 
This was oh, yeah, the yeah, magazine yeah, would yeah, hit. Yeah. People would get their issue. They'd call him up and order like five jugs. You know, he had a call center. Yeah, he had a call center. He had a, a room full of guys with fucking <laughs> on the phone. They never take an eight hundred number call. Yo, old, old drug addicts what? and alcoholics. Yo. Wait, what made him? A no, they were all bodybuilders. Yeah, they were all bodybuilders. All bodybuilders. <laughs> Wait, what Stoney made Lee Grimes, him? Right, worked there. Wait, what made him change though? Overnight. He got muscle meat in 2000. Next thing you know, it was fit for life bullshit. That's when everything will let people like, well, okay, no, because now- he, Greg, he wanted to sell the company. So he went like more like mainstream yeah. to make it look more appealing. And then he sold it to what Abbott Labs or something like that for 350 million or something like that. He wow. got a re- he got oh, an insane know. amount of money for is that company. Is still lost- around? Are they still, Body for Life still around? Here? <laughs> no, Muscle Media is. No, I, mean, I, mean, I haven't um, seen it yet. You know when Abbott Labs bought Muscle Media two thousand and EAS, they ditched the magazine. And when Bill found out, they're like, "Are you guys nuts? That's how we sell these products." They're like, "We don't. We're not interested in being a publisher. We just want the products." Yeah, but, which was the Dave, stupidest then, thing. It, it was the market. By then he ruined that, that yeah. right down the tubes. <laughs> he ruined that magazine by then. By then, it was all fucking, like, girls and, you know, guys that were, like, barely built and shit. We're fit. We're natural. You know, like, that yeah, kind yeah. of shit. That's because he, he was. Yeah, but you know what, Greg? Can, you can't doubt the guy. The guy got $350 million back he, in the no, 90s. I'm not doubting <laughs> him, but, I mean, basically, you strip the house of everything, and now, you know, you're selling your house. You strip it of fucking yeah, everything. But, you, say, you take it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, Greg, he, he, did, he did some of the first... <laughs> engagement programs where people got involved he right. did a transformation program he gave away 10 corvettes yeah i remember corvettes. all of them who 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 today would give away 10 corvettes right right okay i remember that well, yeah, they, they, they were it was, it was supposed to be a lamborghini a diablo one. greg I mean, I mean he, right. it was supposed to be his Lambo, yeah. but then he it, it it morphed into too many categories. He yeah. didn't know what to do, so he ditched the Lambo and he bought ten Corvettes. Yeah. But he also he also did. The, remember the cruises, the EAS cruise. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. And all these fit people are on a cruise ship. You know. I wish I would have gone on that. I had no money back then. That would have been fun. Yeah, yeah, but back then it wasn't body. He lost. It wasn't bodybuilding. It, it more, looked more like the Bachelorette, or you know, those kind of like, you know, like a guy know, barely. Built and he was a ge- he was a marketing genius. The problem oh. is, and you know what, he's still trying to do it today. Get back into it. I don't know if he needs money or what, but it it once you that was his era. Now it's different. Everything the internet completely is a different beast now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you need influences. Get, get like ten, the, ten. the level of opulence that he enjoyed was oh, his yeah. Christmas party, right? The Christmas party is, remember I told you, the two metal buildings right. that go out like this, right? So you pull up on the street in front of the parking, all the parking in front, and then there's these two big buildings. The party was in a tent behind, way behind the buildings. He had a fucking helicopter. Why? In the, bringing people from the parking lot to the back of the building. No. It was, it was 50 yards. <laughs> <laughs> and he went in a helicopter, you know? It, it was, it was, I was there with Dan, and and we had we wanted to leave, so we got back to the parking lot. It was so close that you could hear the stage from the parking lot. You could hear, him. and Dan heard that he was Bill. Bill was giving this big build up about introducing him, and then he introduced him. We're already trying to leave in the car. <laughs> He gets back in the helicopter and flies over another 50 yards to the other side and gets out of the helicopter and goes up on stage. And gets... That's great. That's awesome. That was in Colorado, right? Boulder, right? Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, yeah. Colorado. Mile High it. Publishing. That was what he called himself. Yeah. Mile it's High mile Publishing. High. Yeah. He, he had, that was, I'm, you know, some guys talk about Weeder as being the first you know, exposure to wealth and opulence and whatever. That may be true to some degree because Weeder was definitely wealthy and opulent. Oh, yeah. But Phillips was like a fucking, he spent money like a rock star. Yeah, I was going to say, he, Joe didn't spend two nickels, you know? No. I mean, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, Phillips was the first one to rock a Lambo, yeah. you know, and, and the, the, the houses and the big, yeah. he spent, he, his opulence was way, way up here. So let me ask you a question. Too. What about what's his name? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, John would know this better than anybody. What about what's his name? Uh, who, who do you think had more Scuttle? Him or the VPX guy? Oh, oh, Jack is way more. Jack. Jack's, Jack's got way Jack, more. Right? Way more, yeah. But Jack's yeah, been yeah. doing it longer, too, so. Dude, Jack is a fucking race cars and shit like that. 
Well, Jack spent. Jack likes spending money too. He did. He spent a lot of money. That last booth he had at the fucking Olympia was retarded. <laughs> well, I tell you what, his products were phenomenal though. Yeah. Dude, you you took Redline and that shit was like when it first came out and it had ephedrine in it. Oh. It almost had too much ephedrine. I'll, I, I'll, I would I'll, be I'll like this. That once my heart was pumped, like. <laughs> One thing about Jack, I will tell you, is he paid so much attention to the flavor systems. He had his own lab, and they designed the flavors. We would have these tastings in the conference room. You know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? You take his any of his products now, Bang Energy, all of those drinks, every flavor is phenomenal. Yeah, those are great phenomenal. Drinks. Oh, so Bang they are the most, yeah. Wow. They are the most delicious drinks on the market. Period. He's the only. It, it, he's the only private individual who can go head to head with Coke and Pepsi, and and you know, and all those companies that have you know all those other drinks, Red Line, and they're all the yep. Rain and all these other ones. And he fights them in court. He beats them. He just he fights them and wins. So he, he doesn't care. He manufactures his own drinks. He he's he was telling me he's got some drink man. He owns some some plant where they can John. make like like oh, wow. ten thousand of these things an hour or something like that, right? Right yep. here, John. There you go. Well, John, all those John. other companies, they, is, um, they co-pack it out. They're not making their own. They don't have Champagne? The yeah, the champagne flavor, it's, I think it's the best. It, it tastes just like champagne, right? I don't know. I never tasted champagne. Is that champagne. a new flavor? It's, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's champagne. I never drank real champagne. I don't even know what it tastes like. But this fucking flavor. You never had a glass of champagne, Greg? <laughs> never. I toasted it. I'm best man at a lot of weddings, man. I toast with water. I don't drink alcohol. But look. This that's shit. why so many marriages fail. <laughs> Water, water's in my loaf. It's, it's bad luck. You're cursing them. That's right. You're, you're jinxing them. But John, these flavors, you're right, man. Right? I could get the other one. Did, did nothing like the, the Bang has the best flavors. The, the coffee ones, the the, the 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 coffee line he's got of Bang is fucking. Yeah, Jack, Jack Jack's a Jack's a genius when it comes to marketing. There's those, no they, doubt about those, it. Creatine, when I did that like, tour with John, when you were working there and I came down and did that tour of the, when they were sponsoring our website, that I was you know me, I was geeking out with Jack and and and. and yeah all the production of and the, he had these machines each machine was like a million bucks he had like four of them or something like that you remember those no the, remember that the encapsulation he the yeah he but no he had the machine to take the capsule and it would fill it with gel that's right and then on one side and then beads right on the other remember yes and then it, right and it would and it would make a capsule with gel and beads in the middle he, and the gel for didn't time release he told right, me each machine release. he bought from Germany was a million bucks, and he had four bucks. of them. And he bought two of them. Or two or three of them or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. They, had, they had to design the machines for yeah. him. <laughs> Nobody did that before. Yeah, but he was smart. This way he can, he can make his stuff when I think he's. T- I think he – isn't he making drugs for pharmaceutical companies now with those machines? I, don't, I think well, he I, is. I know, I know he was contract uh, produ- producing for – I think uh, – who does the green – the green and the black, like you, um, uh, green and black muscle farm. Somebody, somebody does a green monster a color muscle farm. Supplement. They went out muscle of business. Farm. Didn't Were they go they, out of business? Green and... Who remember that company, Muscle Farm? Did they go out of business? Or something like that? Yeah, yeah, they went out of but he was making a pill for them that oh. had the green and the black, and you know, in there. <clears throat> so he's a, yeah, he's an innovator for sure. The bar, remember the bar, the bar room, the line with the bar. Oh, he was giving me of- hot bars right off the press. Oh, they were right freaking amazing. Yeah, I right. don't know why he stopped making those zero impact. That was a great name and a great bar. He, he but everything uh, he makes that whole thing is gone. Nobody, he you know why? Because shit. John, he's making too much money from Bang. I don't blame him. You know what I mean? His his Dude, drinks. I told him. When he advertised, I told him in the very beginning. Yeah, I go, why are you yeah. fucking around with sports supplements when you have an energy drink? Th- those little shots cost him like five cents to make. Right. And then right. And he, would, he and makes he bang, would the bang shots. It, it, yep. Dude, this shit's amazing. All his stuff, everything he's ever made. I love. I love all VPX. He's, shit. he's very very guy, smart. He's a very yeah, smart guy. Yeah, tastes really good. Ver- and he's, and he's, his marketing is second to none. That That's really where he's... You couldn't drink a full... cool flavors. Cotton candy. No, just the way he markets his products. Yeah. I love the, the cotton, cotton cool. candy. Oh, another cool. one. But yep. you couldn't fucking drink a whole red line. You'd be dead. You'd get a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> when a, yeah. when a first, first... The, the original red, red line. He's talking about with the Fed. No, yeah. this is what a genius is. That one had it because I drank that. He makes the red line. It's shot bottle. 
with a, with a with a clear strip down it and it's a dosing window. So it's two <laughs> it's two doses in one. What fucking meathead is going to not drink the, the whole, whole bottle? Thing, right, right. Because, to a bodybuilder, if one is good, ten yeah, is yeah, better. Yeah. More is more. <laughs> so, but that you know, original red wine drink, was so. But no, but what happened? What the people would say is that shit is so fucking strong. Yeah, because you're drinking two servings at once. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and that's when ephedra was legal. So they great yeah. though, bro. Ephedra smokes caffeine. These guys, even Adderall, bro. If I took an Adderall, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But a fucking real ephedrine you, HCL. You know like, why you like that, Greg? Because you like. No, like most people like speed that they don't feel. They just feel alert. You like right. that whole, like, <laughs> like your whole body is shaking fucking yeah, feeling. Dude, I want to fucking, uh, that's right, man. I want to fucking <laughs> feel it. Like they're putting a, a big garbage can over them and whack them with a fucking baseball <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Dude, I love that shit. All right. Man. I love it. Guys, I love it. Um, hey, wait, I want to give a shout out to this company. Jo George wants to give a shout out. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy, there's a guy na named, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark Bono. Who sent me a shirt? He he raises money for um, called barbells and badges. Oh yeah 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 we yeah, know. Oh raise, I know that guy. Yeah, He's Lee a nice guy. guy. I'm yeah. doing his diet now. Oh you are. So, yeah. So they raise they raise money for for for, uh, for for vets who who died, their families they died in in, in a war or or police officers who died. Uh, so any one of the shirts, all the all the proceeds go go to these uh, families. Badges I know a nice guy. Check all, out barges. All, and Badges and, and barbells. Yeah, he's a deputy in he's a deputy in Maryland. In Maryland. Yeah, yeah he's a cop. Yeah, Good I guy. know him. If he's watching, it's Mark. Lee Priest. Up, he yeah, says yeah. Lee Priest wears all his shirts too. There he is, right here. His. And if and if you wear this shirt, all the money goes Bar to Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. All the money. You know, John, when George comes to my thing, he still brings like a folder of papers, like you know, like you know, back in the day, like he has a briefcase and everything like that. <laughs> Just give him the link. We'll put it up on the screen. You don't have to bring he also puts Xerox, the nice Xerox pages. Barbells and badges. He gives all the money to all the money. Find to the bar families. barbells and badges. All right, I'll and give if Mr. You want to do that? You, you can give your money to Bobby Muscles. There you go. He won't buy. He won't make any shirts anymore. Bobby Muscles. What? He stopped. I asked him for more. He said, ah, I don't want to do it. It's too, too much work. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to get more shirts from him. He's not making them anymore. Oh, oh there the, it is. The trend shirts? Yeah. Every time I wear one of his trend shirts to the gym, I get comments. I know. People Me too. Them. I want, where do you get those shirts? I must have sent him 20 customers. I Wait, Bobby's out of shirt. the business? What's the three most important things in life? God, family, and country. There you go. Good slogan. What, what and, then, and then cookies. And uh, Mr. G's Protein Snacks .com. Get your keto cookies. These are delicious. I'm so happy. I, I actually, did you bring any more than two or is that it? Yeah. Don oh, and I were thinking okay. the Seven. same thing. <laughs> no pretzels today? No, no. Have to, no he made bread. Tyler some kind of crazy bagel. I, I know that. A cheddar cheese bagel with. Oh with wait a minute! Tyler's bowl. getting shit, and John and I ain't getting. You guys are getting. Greg, Greg, listen, look at it this way. You're getting shit Greg and I are shredded for summer. Next week, you guys are all gonna be. Don't hold your breath, guys. No, they are. Uh, I'm going right back <laughs> in production as soon as we leave here. They're it's, getting it's stuff. Because, it's because Georgie wants to make sure that Greg and I are shredded for summer. Look at Dave. No cookies. Dave, hold up your arms. Every time I get, I, I'm getting emaciated getting because I can't, I can't work out the way I want. I'm, I'm losing weight. I'm, I'm withering away here. Uh, I got to get off. I got to get this cast off. Yeah, like yeah. 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 no, if scooter. anyone wants to make me a, a ramp wait, wait, so I, I can know. take Dave, off. And... Dave, you go, you go through like the shopping aisles. Are you one of those fucking people we see in the fucking You should see, Greg, Greg you, you should see me how fast I am in the supermarket on that scooter. I'm no, going no like way. at you least you got to be going. I, please tell me you're going to Walmart regularly. No, I don't go to Walmart. I got we go to Sam's Club here, which is which is better. But I, I get speeding tickets, John, like you did. They hit me with the radar. They're like <laughs> 20 miles an hour in a shopping aisle. Wait, Dave, do you stand there and you ask people, excuse me? They look at you. You're on a thing. Excuse me. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's what I got my son for. He can climb the shelves. Remember, he's got a size 16, so his boot's like this big. I know. Dude, his fucking shoe. Like at least he's a big boot. I, that's yeah. right. Dude, I could go, I could use his fucking sneaker as a canoe. I could sit there and fucking. It's Two fucking canoes. Huge. Two canoes. All right, we got to wrap Two this up. Canoes. Thanks, guys. I had a, a, a really Jimmy? good time. Remini yeah, I don't know where Jimmy is. I told you he's probably in depression again, ready with a, with a gun to his head. Depressed. He's got a gun to his head. He went to the wrong side when he was here. Where I live is, is like, is like, like you talk about Italy. It's, it's unbelievable. 
It's it's so beautiful. George, he doesn't he, want. He, he likes to suffer. He likes to suffer. He can ride his bike, Jimmy. You can ride your bike every day. He doesn't want every day. He Jimmy. can't. He turn can't. your hat back. No helmet. He can't Come do on, it. Jimmy. You know, Dave. Dave, what we have to do. This is what we got to do. This, this is the last resort. He went to the wrong our side. Last, Georgie, listen. This is our last. This is the last chance. I'm this is what we got to do. I surf every day. Right? I'm morning, telling. Eight, listen please. to me. Listen uh, to me, Georgie. Girl, it's all. It's paradise. Georgie. Georgie, it's you're not listening. I, I you're can't not listening. take it. We got that. <laughs> what we got to do, what we got to do is, Dave, we got to send George to New York, to, to, to Jimmy's house. On a mission, you got to intervene. You, we didn't do an intervention. Georgie, you got to use all your powers, all your skills, all your life coaching. Pack up his house and get him out of there. Yeah. I'm you got to get you bike. Gotta See you, Jimmy. Jimmy to George has got to drive he's like a moving truck his, up there. He's got to leave his stress and anxiety behind and come live a new, clean, healthy <laughs> life in Florida under your tutelage. You got to do it. George, you got to do it for our brother. He's going to start living. He's wasting. I, can, I mean, seriously, Jimmy. He, 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 but he's like, today. yeah, he needs to. Well, John, that'd be like every telling your fat aunt Leah, you gotta day. cut your he be able to ride his bike every he's single in day in the sun. <laughs> all he's doing is waiting to die. It's yeah. all he's doing. He likes to complain. <laughs> I think he enjoys it. All right, we're wrapping this thing up. We're getting we're getting a little late here. Greg, thanks for joining us. John, thanks, uh, Mr. Thank G, thanks guys. for the cookies. And uh, I love you as guys. always, we'll be back next week, possibly with a very special guest from Johnny Bravo, who but who will have his hair done by next week. And uh, everyone, I got a yeah. good guest, Dr. Barbara Schneider. I'm going to bring on. She's good. She's Barbara Streisand, you bringing? Dr. Barbara Schneider. My, lo my father loves Barbara Streisand. She's, she's been a Streisand whole is for the last so years. on her. All about monkey pox and, like, and all about the. I don't want to hear about monkey That's pox. That's a liberal fuck, too, John. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? All right, guys. I uh, love you guys. We'll see you next week. All right. All right, guys. I love, love you. you. I got to get out of here. Bye. 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 Serious. What's he doing?